criteria have been set out by the National Institutes of Health back in 1991, and they haven't really changed very much since. So if you have a body mass index of 40, that means that you're probably 100 pounds over your ideal body weight. Then you're a candidate, provided you pass a psychological screening and that you've tried some other mechanisms of weight loss prior to embarking upon surgery. If you've got a body mass index of 35 and you have weight-related medical problems, such as diabetes and high blood pressure, sleep apnea, arthritis of your weight-bearing joints, then you're a candidate also. MUSC offers uh, laparoscopic gastric bypass and laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, we also do very, very complex revisions, uh, which include surgeries that are done elsewhere that have um, either have complications or um, failure to lose weight. And if there's an anatomical reason why the surgery does not work, then uh, we are usually referred these patients uh, because we are the tertiary bariatric surgery referral center. Um, I also perform the first robotic gastric bypass um, in, in the region, and we do offer a robotic gastric bypass too. If you have a gastric bypass and you adhere to the post-operative diet criteria, you're, you should be expected to lose 70% or thereabouts of your excess weight. And your excess weight is calculated up by subtracting your current weight or your ideal body weight from your current weight. That's your excess weight. And we work out your ideal body weight by using the Metropolitan Life Tables. And you should be expected to lose about 70% of that excess weight over the course of about a year and a half. Most of it you will lose within the first six months after a gastric bypass. With a sleeve gastrectomy, you can uh, lose approximately 60 to 65% of your excess weight, so a little bit less than the gastric bypass. Uh, depending on where you start out. And again, you will lose most of that over the first six months. The, uh, the statistics that we have would indicate that most patients will keep their weight off lifelong. Uh, but there are some patients whose weight comes back uh, because they don't adhere to the post-operative uh, diet regimens and also they uh, don't exercise and they lose sight of what they started out to try and achieve and over the course of the years the weight creeps back on again and that's about 15 percent but about 85 percent of people will keep most of their weight off for the rest of their lives. We are probably the most experienced program in the state of South Carolina. We have been uh, doing bariatric surgery here since 1992. And in fact, there was a program here uh, even before that. We have a state-of-the-art facility. We have a very large and experienced team, not just of surgeons, but also of uh, ancillary personnel, such as dietitians, coordinators, physician's assistants. So we have a very experienced team here in a state-of-the-art facility. We have also been designated recently as a center for, uh, uh, for the treatment of adolescent patients. So we offer bariatric surgery services to adolescents. And in fact, we've, we've offered this since 1992. And I think to date, we've probably done bariatric surgery on 35 or 40 adolescents over the years. So if you're a parent whose uh, child is struggling with obesity and, and the comorbidities that are associated with it, such as diabetes and high blood pressure, we can offer services to you. So you will see the whole team. Um, when you come to MUSC, the philosophy is not that you're my patient or Dr. Burns' patient, you're our patient. You're, you know, I might operate on you, on the patient, and uh, Burns might take care of it, and vice versa. And you also see the entire team, which includes the um, dietitians, the uh, psych psychologists, as well as the bariatric coordinator and the PAs. So the entire, it's a team-based approach um, and uh, we um, treat obesity as a very, very, um, in a very holistic manner. The way the surgery works is it gives you a tool so that you can help yourself deal with this demon of, um, of obesity. and. Uh, it will help you control your portions tremendously. Uh, you don't really have any options. So uh, 
when you eat, you eat very small amounts of food and you feel immediately full. So the desire to eat and the, and the hunger desire goes away. In fact, many people will tell us that they have to remind themselves to eat, particularly after gastric bypass and sleeve. Um, you'll notice then that uh, over the course of the first month after surgery that you've begun to lose a tremendous amount of weight. Uh, and then two or three months down the road when you've lost even more weight, you you begin to realize that uh, you know this is a self-fulfilling thing. You begin to look in the mirror and think to yourself, you know, this is unbelievable. I, I haven't looked like this in years. So it feeds on itself, and it encourages encourages you to to maintain your weight loss and to keep going. So the hunger goes away. You feel full very quickly. You lose weight very rapidly. And the most important thing of all is that the medical problems that were weight related slowly begin to disappear. For example, if you're a diabetic and you're on, for example, metformin or one of those type of medications, it's likely that you will get off those medications within the first month or two after surgery. Even if you're an insulin dependent diabetic and you have a gastric bypass, the chances are that you may well get off the insulin completely or certainly reduce the dose. Likewise, for high, patients with high blood pressure who are on multiple medications, they can get off their medications completely in many instances. The average length of time for a person to get off a CPAP mask after, for sleep apnea is about three months after a, after a weight loss procedure. So as time goes by and the first six months goes by, you will find that you're losing a tremendous amount of weight. You're not eating in any way like you used to eat before. And in fact, food is really taken out of your life to a certain extent, except for the fact that you have to maintain your proteins and maintain your caloric needs and stay hydrated. And then all the medical problems begin to disappear.